Good day Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again with our link to our tropical weather analysis and this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclone and this weather analysis is for today, Wednesday through Friday, July 8 to 10, 2020. To begin with our update, here's the latest graph set. Uh, still the same weather conditions will be expected in most parts of the Philippine Islands. We have the uh, easterlies, but it's expected to weaken within the next 24 hours. But as of this time, it's uh, bringing some cloudy periods with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across northeastern and northern Mindanao, as well as Palawan, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas, portions of the Bicol region, and Quezon provinces. So expect some passing thunderstorms but overall, the weather conditions will remain sunny, hot, warm, and humid. And in the afternoon or evening, expect some localized thunderstorms, particularly here along the western sections of Luzon and uh, other portions of the Philippine Islands. We have here a stationary front up north, bringing some uh, widespread rain showers and thunderstorms across southern China and the southern islands of Japan. And we have here the trio of surface troughs, but it's not expected to develop into a low pressure area. We are still all clear for the next uh, 5 to 10 days based on the latest Typhoon Global models. And you can see here we have an erupting volcano just south of Japan over the Nishinoshima Island that's uh, 1000 kilometers south of Tokyo. So there's an ongoing uh, explosive eruption there. As you can see, it's very clear as you look at the uh, satellite uh, photo. And as we look at our fast animation, you can see here the uh, rain showers and thunderstorms brought about by the easterly surface trade winds. And over the uh, windy.com zoom in satellite animation, this is the uh, visible satellite peak. You can uh, clearly see here the uh, developing thunderstorms brought about by the easterlies and the convective uh, tropical convection across most parts of western Luzon, particularly here along Ilocos region and some portions of the Bicol region. So far, there's nothing uh, crucial at this time of the day, at this time of the uh, week. There's still no uh, tropical systems. It's more of a uh, wind system and uh, normal tropical weather all across the Philippine Islands. Here's the uh, three-day rainfall accumulation brought to you by ECMWF. And this is uh, issued by windy.com. We could uh, expect still some afternoon thunderstorms across the western sections of Mindanao, southern Mindanao, western Visayas and some portions of eastern Visayas, Palawan, Mindoro, and uh, Luzon, particularly along the western sections of northern Santa Luzon, and also here along Bulacan and uh, Laguna, there could be some rain showers and thunderstorms, and also in some isolated parts of Metro Manila. In the Bicol region, there's still some chances, but not, not much compared to other areas of the Philippine Islands. And before we leave you, is the latest uh, ECMWF wind and rain forecast issued by windy.com and for the next two days by tomorrow afternoon still have some uh, isolated thunderstorms that will occur in most parts of the zone Palawan uh, portions of the Visayas and Mindanao and on Friday still some variable winds will occur across the Philippine Islands and creating some convective thunderstorms localized thunderstorms in most parts of Luzon particularly metropolitan Manila Central Luzon, portions of Mindoro and Palawan, Western Visayas, and Southern Western Mindanao. So expect some showers and thunderstorms on Friday and also in small areas of isolated areas of the Bicol region and Eastern Visayas. So there you go. Uh, that's the latest from our Typhoon2000.com weather TV update. And we'll be returning again on Friday to give you more tropical weather analysis here in the Philippine Islands. From Weather TV, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag WeatherWiser, and thank you for watching our channel.